it's really sort of captured the imagination, if you like, of the whole of the Scottish population. And I think that everybody is engaged in the debate. And, uh, you know, we were delighted to come here and, and, you know, show our support for the Better Together campaign this morning. What do you think about this suggestion that the Yes campaign have in some ways managed to portray themselves as the true Scots, the true <laughs> patriots? Well, I think uh, there's a few patriots that are right here this morning that have done their, their deeds out in the field behind me over a number of years, and, and both for Scotland and uh, in competition against England, Ireland and, and Wales, and then together for the British and Irish Lions on, on overseas trips and, and tours. And, uh, you know, I think that... that we are a group of men that, that are very, very proud to be Scottish, and I would challenge anybody if, if they suggested that I wasn't in any way Scottish. I've lived here for the vast majority of my life. I'm very proud to be Scottish, but I'm, I'm also happy to stand up and say no thanks. You've fought some great rearguard actions in your time. Do you feel as though the No campaign is a touch on the back foot at the moment? Um, it's, it's been really interesting. I, I think that, that we're very much aware. I think, you know, Maybe people didn't realise just how close potentially this, this whole um, vote was going to be, but I was always... I've never been one to be complacent and just sit in your backside and not do anything, which is, you know, why I'm, I'm here today amongst uh, former colleagues. And, and um, you know, I think it's important that people who are considered public figures stand up and, and, and show support to whichever side that they're backing. And, and that's why me and, and, and my former uh, rugby mates are, are, are here today to, to say, listen, we're proud to be S Scottish, we love being Scottish, but no thanks, we're, we're back in the Better Together campaign. But you're doing it at a time when quite a lot of people have actually already cast their votes in postal votes. Could it be too late? Um, I don't think so. No, I, I don't think so at all. I mean, for the vast majority, of course, we're going to the polls next Thursday and uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be close, whatever happens. And, and you know, we're just doing our little bit.